Okay, so today's workout is designed for a typical apple shape. I'm gonna be toning your abs and your waist. It's really easy, it's 120 rep workouts, so it doesn't take too long, but we are going to need some props. So I'm gonna tell you what they are, and then you can always hit the pause button. So the first thing, if you have a Swiss ball, go and grab that, but if you don't, don't panic. What you can get instead if you grab a chair and either a pillow or a cushion. And we're just gonna do three moves, all of floor base what is a really important idea though again you can hit the pause button just make sure you have done about a minute or so marching on the spot just to make sure you are nice and warm and then when you're ready we're going to go straight into the first move so you're going to come down onto the ground I'm going to show you what the move is first of all so you either have your feet so they are resting on the chair or if you've got the ball you're going to place them on the ball so we're going to lift up then you reach your hand round to touch the outside of the ball or the chair so we're just doing 20 reps with these so you lift up and reach it round so what we're doing here and why this is really good for your typical apple shape is we are targeting your abs as well as your waist muscles by reaching round to the side. What is important, keep the belly button tight to the spine so you reach up and then take the hands around. So we're engaging your obliques as well as the rectus abdominis and also we're still working your transversus by keeping the belly button tight to the spine. So you're just doing 20 reps and always breathe out as you curl up and in on the return. That's good. So it's just three moves that we're doing today for 20 reps and we repeat that twice. All right, so your next move, you can see now coming up, you're gonna have your legs straight. So if you haven't got the ball, just place the cushion between your heels and squeeze that tight. So now you're gonna lower and slowly lift back in. So you don't have to take the feet down too low. It's only about 45 degree angle. It's really important you keep your tummy muscles pulled in really tight. So where we're working now, we're working into the deep core muscles, your transverse abdominus. So just 20 reps. So if you count how many you're doing, I'm doing 20. So if you're in time with me, we'll be doing them at exactly the right amount of reps per set. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going, doing really well. Tummy stays tight and just draw the legs up and then you just take them very slightly down. Don't let that back arch off the floor. Good, all right, so move number three. This time, again, if you haven't got the ball, just use a cushion. You're gonna reach it up, then you're gonna take it over to one side, then the other. And so the benefit of this one is why this is perfect for an apple shape. We are now really targeting through your oblique muscles as you're taking that ball or the cushion over from one side to the other. So again with these, these are quite tough moves. So if you're feeling anything in your neck, then just rest because those abs might get a little bit tired. And remember, as we're lifting up, our heads are actually really heavy. So that's why we can feel neck tension. So what I always recommend you, even if you just do 10 reps and then just rest, but remember, every time you do a workout, you get those muscles stronger. All right, so we're just going from one side straight to the other. That's it. Just keep that going, doing really well. Okay, well done. So that is round one complete. We're now going to do round two, which is really simple. We're just going to repeat all three of those moves again. So let's go back to that first move. So remember with this one, if you don't have the Swiss ball, you are just simply going to use your chair. You're just going to have the legs are bent to a 45 degree angle. So your feet are resting on the chair. And we're going to do those ab crunches. So you lift up, then you reach the hand round to the side of the ball or the side of the chair. You're doing 20 reps. Now breathe out as you come up and in on the return. So the benefit here is we are doing two planes of motion through this. So we're coming up and we're also doing a lateral bend. So one is called frontal, the other is called sagittal. And so we're just really engaging all these muscles. So important. If you're an apple shape, don't just focus on doing crunches. You need to work the muscles from lots of different directions. All right, that's good. So 20 reps. Let's just keep that going reach that round, lift it up, and then alternating from one side to the other, keeping that nice and controlled. That's good, breathe out. All right, so next move coming up, remember now we're gonna go straight back to this one. So use your pillow, or if you've got your ball, you place that between your ankles, and it's a small move. Make sure you keep those tummy muscles pulled in really tight. So where we're working here is your transverse abdominus, your deepest core muscle. You just lower the legs a little way, then you draw them straight back up. You're just doing 20 reps. That's good. 
keeping it nice and controlled. If you find your back is arching as you lower the legs down to the ground, don't lower them that far. The further down you do, lower them. The harder it is, if your abs are a little bit tired, then your back will arch, and I don't want you to do that. So it's important, listen to your body. It's always important to exercise with good form. Doing really well, that nice and controlled. And also think about squeezing tight through the legs. That also gives the thighs a quick workout. So next move coming up, holding onto your pillow or your ball, you are literally going to reach up, then take it from one side to the other. And you're going to go for doing 20 reps. Now the key thing is, if you are an apple shape, it is more than just toning. You have to look at doing your cardio. And what's really important, and I've used this in my apple shape plan, which I'll talk to you about at the end of the workout, but it's important if you're carrying weight through the abs, what we need to do is a look at increasing your metabolic rate. So doing a mix of HIIT training is a really good because then we can burn off any excess body fat that you are storing there because as we know, a toning exercise is never going to burn off fat, but what we can do with this workout, we can specifically tone those moves, but you want to combine doing aerobic workout and also having a healthy eating plan if you are looking at reducing weight through the belly and through the tummy so well done that is your workout now complete now what is a good idea just lie lie on the ground and just literally make yourself as long as you can on the floor and just hold that there just go for a nice full body stretch now if you are a typical uh, apple shape sorry and you want to lose some inches from your waist then I do have my four week video ebook I will leave a link in the description below and you can read the reviews, you can find out more about it. But basically, it has cardio workouts, it has different videos you do on set days, it's designed for every fitness level, so even if you're a complete beginner, we look at doing fat burning, so we get off any belly fat, we look at doing toning, and there's also nutrition, focusing on foods that really help to um, reduce any bloating, so there's everything covered in the Apple plan. Um, but I hope you like the workout out today if you did please give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions um, then also let me know down below and if you're not ready definitely subscribe to my channel and you know if you are an apple shape I would recommend doing this workout three times a week and combine it perhaps with doing my um, walking workouts indoor ones they're really good because that's going to help reduce any excess of body fat but well done for today's training and I'll see you soon for another workout